All right, looks like uh, Travis is going fishing for something. Uh, gonna wrestle the uh, intake out of here. Okay, what's going on, Joel? So, we have the screen on now, obviously, because he's getting trashed in the face. Right. So, it's been like a trial by error on what mesh size to get before we had a bigger one on there. Uh -huh. It sucks that grass out there, it goes into the charge pump on that gun's ramp. Okay. So, you have to take the whole suction in on there and start reaching in with hoses and blowing the garbage out. But it's this way, at least it's trapped. Uh -huh. It gets in there because you're trying to maintain 100 psi to make that conductor work at the optimal level. So, so this is this is what I'm trying to understand. You've got these air tubes going down here, yeah. and the point is is that you're trying to put the same amount of air back into so the, 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 the system it? before you start uh, running it, or okay. what? So we're, we're running off the adductor right now. We get to 65 feet, I'm gonna switch over to air. And then you have to get like, you know, a certain depth before you can switch over and we run our compressor. Okay. At that point, we're not running the pump. I just let it idle. Okay. See, this one, it's all external air. The bushing he's right. got up there, he got that from failing uh, about 30 years ago. Okay. And some other guys, you know, they run internal air where you got PVC tubes just going down the middle of the pipe. Okay. Down about 80 feet. Alright, so here we go again. So now you're back to full flow. You always want that pipe to be full. Yeah. If you're full dog, you're full dog. Yep, yep, and yep. That's yep. one of the things where when I was a kid, you know, working with my uncle and my dad, you always watch kind of returns. Especially when you're switched over the air, because that's the only way you can see how you're really moving. And if your intake velocity and your return in the ditch starts slowing down and plugging off, and on this one, not going to work, we shouldn't have too many problems. But that's the one that it, it, it can take five hours to go 10 feet sometimes, you know, if you're going to drill it down by the river. It's wild. I mean, I'm not a mud driller at all, but it's wild to watch the flow going in here and coming out of here because normally it's going the other way. That's what we've always done our pits like this. Uh huh. You've got plenty of room. But at the end of the day, if you're going down you know, 200 feet, you got a lot of cubic yards of dirt coming down. Yeah. And, you know, the rate of penetration, the minimum pump hole velocity you want with reverse is 70. Second. Okay. Even with air, you're you're hauling. I mean, if we switch over to air, we hit rocks. You'll hear them start crashing through this thing. 